Hi everyone, today we have a very unique video for you guys uh, uh, made up here actually as you can see I have um, a brown like a black bear a, bla a brown colored black bear that has a totally ripped ears on it actually the ears um, at least on this one is totally ripped open from the very very tip edge and as you can see it's been uh, it's been pretty hard to sew it back together as soon as we see something like this the first thing comes into our mind is how are we going to sew this thing usually the holes that are made in uh, in the middle of the ear skin they're quite easier to sew but when it's right at the edge because of the air uh, like all the hair growth and everything like that it's just going to be very challenging to sew it back up so today I'm going to show you how you can mount this thing without sewing it because uh, you don't necessarily have to sew it so what we're gonna do first we're gonna test our test fit our ear liners I'm using the McKenzie um, Ear liners that are coming with uh, with most of the shoulder mounts. This is a shoulder mount bear anyway. And uh, first, we're gonna just put it inside the uh, the ear and see how that ripped area is going to show. So here as we can see here if the skin wasn't ripped all around the edges it would have been fitting perfectly good okay so um, I'm putting down all the edges right at the edge of the ear liner we can see that it's working perfectly fine and it seems like a very fit ear liner for this bear Now, the first thing you want to do to be able to mount this ear without sewing is that you want to bring the skin exactly where it's supposed to be sitting on the ear liners to make sure that the edges are going to be lined up on the ear liner edges. And you can start from one side of the ear instead of both sides at the same time. Right now I have the bottom or the back side of the ear exactly where it's supposed to be on the earliner and what I'm doing um, using super glue to glue down only one edge to the very edge of the earliners okay it's just you just got to make sure that you're putting your glue perfectly fine at about one millimeter maximum maybe two I think two millimeter would be too much just put it on one millimeter edge of the skin and then you glue that exactly to the edge of the ear liner not to a point that is going to be basically the the ear liner should not show okay by the time we're done the ear liner should be um, basically hidden under the skin so maybe you want to glue the area just a tad behind the very edge so and you can make it a little bit stronger with putting more glue on bigger areas but all you have to do it's pretty hard to sh to explain exactly what I'm doing but I hope you can get something out of it basically what we want to do we want to glue the edges to the airliner to a point that you're leaving half a millimeter of skin sticking out uh, from the edge of the ear liner because that part needs to get glued back down to the other side of the skin okay so as you can see about maybe maybe I didn't say it right pro uh, properly first maybe sh you should leave about half a millimeter all around and then glue after that to the ear liner 
not the whole airliner just about quarter inch all around you need to glue it down and then leave about half a millimeter sticking out because that half a millimeter needs to get glued to the skin to the back skin or the front skin if um, if you're uh, doing one one side first and then the other side so as you can see I'm just slowly bringing the skin back into where it's supposed to be lined up but I still have half a millimeter or maximum one millimeter of skin sticking out on both sides so it allows me to push and uh, basically press down the two edges of the skin together so basically that helps for you to um, to hide the airliners inside so the airliners edge tip is not going to be showing so this is how I would I would do on um, any of these uh, airliners that are uh, sorry on any of these ear, ear skins that are pretty much ripped all around and uh, because of the hair grown on it like on the hair pattern on it it's not going to allow you to sew it that easily so once we have the edges basically all glued down to the airliner um, I like to brush it out and make sure that you know everything is lined up properly and uh, you gotta keep in mind that you're not done you just uh, glued the edges of the skin to the airliner without sewing now the next thing we gotta do is just we gotta go from inside now and push the skin down off the airliner so you can get the rest of the ear exposed and uh, leave yourself enough room so now you can use your preferred glue for uh, or adhesive so you can glue down the rest of it right now on this mount I decided to use some Bondo so uh, with the help of a stick I'm pushing down some of that uh, Bondo inside that ear pocket that we have created for for ourselves right now and then some in the front and some in the back and then I'll massage the skin from outside so I can spread that Bondo or any kind of adhesive you're using all over the ear for a complete adhesion right now all you have to do is just massage it slide the skin around the the edges you can't do anything about it because you crazy glued it down to the edge of the airliner and all you have to do is just massage and then you're done basically you have uh, mounted one ear that had a huge rip at the edges you have mounted it on the earliner without needing to uh, sew it back together hopefully you picked some uh, tips or tricks from this video and you find it useful if you come across uh, any project like this you might want to use this trick because it's gonna save you a lot of time and also it's gonna make your life easier a little bit for uh, for mounting such thing okay thank you very much guys if you like the video please hit that like button and subscribe for weekly videos there's coming up uh, a lot more videos more interesting projects coming up uh, stay tuned as soon as I get my time uh, on each video to do some editing uh, I'll uh, upload them for you guys so you can watch and enjoy okay thanks for watching we'll see you soon bye bye